Now, for more on this story, we're now joined in studio by the president of the Musicians Association of South Africa, Debo Jose Tatu, and gospel musician Deborah Fraser. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Hi, now, so it's been a difficult day for South Africa. Yeah. Um, Debo, I want to start with you. You have worked uh, Nosfiso for many years. What was he like as a musician, as a father, as a friend, as he was to you as well? Um, beautiful person, beautiful soul. Uh, always humble, smiling, friendly, and um, what a talent, um, hard worker. Uh, from, you know, when you talk about from uh, Rex to Rick, Rich's story, you know, he inspired so many people. It's, mm. it's possible. He actually made it certain that you know that you don't have to have a PhD. Uh, if you have a dream and a vision and you've got talent and you acknowledge that God has given you such talent, you can make something out of it and you can touch the whole world. Now, speaking of vision, Mandebra, let's look at his work as a gospel musician. You are a gospel musician. You've been in the industry for a long time. You've seen success within the industry. What do you think sets Fiso apart, um, you know, being able to go from where he was to be able to be the amazing superstar that we know him to be? Um, Sviso was original. He didn't imitate anyone. The message from the songs that he composed himself made a, an impact in the uh, uh, in the industry and to his fans as a whole. You know, that is why he was different from the gospel that we know you know very brilliant musician beautiful voice what can i say staying with his music i know that he's worked in your studio he's recorded with you before what are some of the elements um, that you picked up in him as well you know while recording there are many things i'm sure that you came across he probably didn't come alone he probably came with other musicians yeah. um, that he performs with how was the interaction in that context? Um, it's a natural, creative environment. He brought something mm. into the studio that uh, was kind of an ambience of, 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 of things becoming easy. You know, uh, every time he came to Joburg, he would come into the studio and say, come, uh, uh, you know, uh, with his husky voice and, you know, he'll you know, he, he rocked all the time. And I, I was saying to Debs that, you know, there's a song I did with him. I, the song was there and he came in and said, hey, come, you never featured me in any of your album. Now that you are here, I was like, hey, again, mm. and I, I, didn't, I had not even done my lead vocals yet, it was just back into the music. And he went on and he cracked it and he actually even inspired a good performance from myself. It, it was such a natural talent, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was just as easy as, as ABC. You know, the way you're smiling, it actually speaks to the kind of person that he was because, mm. you know, it's a somber day, yeah. it, it's, a, it's a sad day for South Africa, it but is. at the same time, we remember his music, we remember the kind of person he was, and that leaves a smile on our yeah. face. Yeah. What's the one thing that struck you about him? What's the one thing that when you think about it, you think that was authentically Sfiso? Sfiso was very talented when it comes to singing, when it comes to like performing he will per so you will sit there you will be watching Sviso singing and like i for one when i listen to Sviso singing i used to cry and i used to be like what kind of 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 a voice is this he will reach the high notes without even struggling you know the talent that he has you can't compare it with any talent that we have here he was he was amazing he was such a talented young man, you know, and I, I'm really sad that uh, he, he, he's gone too fast. He was still, he was, he was still supposed, I mean, he was supposed to be still living and continuing, you know, because his fans love his music and his fans were still looking forward to, 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 um, Greater things. Yes, to greater things mm -hmm. that he was still going to come with 
No, speaking of his music, the one thing that we can't deny about Sfiso was that his fans are from across the board. Oh, yes. He had young fans, mm -hmm. he had older fans, mm -hmm. um, people that like hip hop. Guaido mm -hmm. House mm -hmm. would still go to a concert yeah. where Sfiso is not just a gospel yes. musician at the bottom Absolutely. of the line, but he's a headline yeah. act Absolutely. at big festivals. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that uh, Zani Limbogazi, the Crown Gospel Awards founder, mm -hmm. also mentioned mm -hmm. that, you know, um, he's part of the generation that actually took gospel music right so there to level. the top of the yes. let's, let's look mm -hmm. at that evolution of, of gospel musicians actually <coughs> coming up mm -hmm. um, to the fore and being respected across the board. Mm -hmm. well, certainly. I mean, uh, he proved it by uh, winning the the summer award, the biggest award uh, that the is, of the yes, year. the God of the year, voted in uh, uh, for by the fans, and and it, it showed that gospel music is alive, mm. and and people don't know gospel music is the biggest uh, genre of music we have, the mm. biggest seller. Even during recession, gospel music continues to sell because of it's more than just music. It inspires, it 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 actually motivates, it uplifts Teaches. people Teaches. when they are down. So um, you know, we want to pass our sincerest. A heartfelt condolences to the wife, particularly the mm -hmm. children, the, the family, uh, the fans, the friends, and, and to the members of our association to say, you know, you know, you know, you know, but mm -hmm. you know, we want to celebrate him. It, it's, uh, he's gone too soon. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. only recently, you we know, we were uh, saddened by the passing of uh, Mandoza, and, mm -hmm. and it's just too soon. And we pray to God that we don't have to find ourselves in another situation like this like before this, the end yes. of the year, because mm -hmm. we're losing too many brilliant artists uh, too soon. Mm -hmm. How would you like his fans to remember him, to start with humor? Like when they think of Suiso, they must think of a good musician, good singer, somebody with a good heart. Because every time you'll see Sfiso, Sfiso will be smiling. I've never seen him angry. I've never see, seen him, you know, in another bad situation. Uh, they should remember Sfiso as a, a, a nice person, good music, beautiful voice, you know, a father. Um, yeah. And for you, Tebokot? Yeah, I like, uh, you know, for him to be remembered as a gentleman, you know, mm -hmm. a, mm -hmm. a talent, a, a man with a vision who, mm -hmm. who never had uh, so boundaries uh, uh, in achieving an, anything. Mm -hmm. Because of most of the people, uh, when they don't have an education, like Swiso, I know he, he ended up uh, at a very low level uh, in terms of uh, school, but uh, he was so mature. Uh, just to show that education just enhances the, the, the character, the beautiful character God has given unto you. So it's up to you what you do. And uh, I always remember him for acknowledging his talent, God-given talent, and taking it to another level, from one level to, uh, to the other. Mm. And also as a businessman who broke boundaries and left his uh, record companies in the comfort zone, who went on his own and started to make the real money. So uh, for me, he's, he was a balanced a person uh, completely and that is really groundbreaking being able to open his own record yeah. company and he was a business in yeah. essence and i was surprised when mm. i saw him at mshito mm -hmm. and i was like yeah he had his you own know, stand there the last time we stand. saw we, we saw each yeah. other besides yes. talking on the phone we saw Selling each other his there music, yeah. you know and i was yeah. like wow i you think know, his I was partnership so impressed. with his wife has been really successful Amazing. Amazing. yes perhaps yes, it's, that's wife. a good that's a good thing to look at mm. now where we say what can young musicians learn from him there are a lot of emerging young musicians now any genre whether it's gospel musicians um you know, house, hip hop, quite or anything. What mm. can they learn from Sfiso in terms of them pushing their careers and going forward? Uh, one thing they should learn is that they need to believe in themselves. Mm. Um, to say that if you've got talent, mm. you've got an asset. Yeah. You've, uh, and then whoever wants to partner with you, mm. uh, don't shortchange yourself. Uh, know that even if you go to a record company, whoever who wants to sponsor your career, you have talent. So most musicians, particularly young ones, must stop thinking that uh, they just want somebody to get them out there and they have nothing. They have got talent. And Spitzer has proven that with his talent, you can do anything. Yeah, because the talent yes, is, the business, is the business, right? Yeah, that is that the on its own. And the responsibility. Yeah. You know, that's what you should learn. Mm. As a person who knew Sfiso, what's your most memorable or your favorite memory of him? When I saw yeah. him performing Kulungile Baba, when I was watching him and I was crying, and then after that he came with another one, <coughs> Baye de Baye de Nkosi. I remember I was dancing with him. We were invited uh, by, um, what's his name? The 
he's from the ANC Youth League. Mm. Yeah. What's his name? Ureji. Okay. Yeah, we were performing there at mm -hmm. Reggie's home. Mm -hmm. And I was watching Swiss singing by Eti Baba. I stood up and I danced and I was like, what a talent. You know, Swiss was a gift to us, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and uh, I mentioned yeah. earlier, uh, earlier on this, that uh, uh, Swiss's death, it, 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 it's something that, that is opening our eyes, you know? Because it's like we, we must always lean to God because there is nothing that we're going to do as musicians or as artists if we don't know who God is. You understand? And I'm happy that by going out there, spreading the word of God, mm -hmm. telling people how beautiful God is, mm -hmm. telling people, teaching people about God, you know, in the like we were born, and I'm happy for that. And it's high time that musicians, or as gospel artists, we know what is seven zela in by singing, by spreading the message. Just seven zela nati, so that lit malfiga lele langa. We won't regret. We won't be scared. Mm -hmm. You know, mina, I'm mina, I'm happy for Sfiso. People will be surprised why I'm saying this, but I know what is in good hands because he has made a mark, he has worked for this day. Mm, and your favorite memory of my him? My favorite memory is always, whenever we meet, he will say, come, you know, uh, I want to learn the, the music industry. You know, he, he didn't stop learning. Uh, as successful as he were, uh, every time he would want uh, to, uh, for me to mentor him in other areas so that he can grow and understand the music business. And that's mm. crucial for artists to understand so that to, we don't keep pointing fingers at people who rip us off, but we take the responsibility, we take charge of our own destinies. So, and his bubbly character all the time, his talent, amazing. Now, as the president of the South African uh, Musicians Association, can we expect a tribute song of some sort maybe certainly, coming from you? Certainly. It's on the cards. Uh, we just uh, was talking to provincial government and uh, uh, we're trying to uh, set up uh, communication with the family so that whatever that we do uh, is blessed by uh, uh, the family, particularly the wife, I understand, so that, uh, but we, we are actually working on something and as a collaboration so that we can pay tribute to uh, the young man and yeah, may his soul rest in peace. Mm. We're running out of time, but Mom Deborah, we can't, you can't leave without blessing us with the song. You said, Wuti, uh, your favorite song <laughs> by Uspi. So you too, I mean, you're a musician yourself. <laughs> I can belt out a few songs from your past, but you know, uh, oh not today. Yeah, but you, 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 you can lead the way. You, you must sing the song, they will start the song. <laughs> well, well, they asked you, but the, the song that I featured him on is a song that was made popular by Ovoyo. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Which one? Uh, you lead in the song. <laughs> I know, I know. That is yeah. beautiful. I'm sure you know what, what is painful. Um, Swiso was organized uh, was organizing the. The, the, the show on the 31st mm. and he confirmed everything last week that the show is on and uh, we have to come down to Deben. Mm. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's still going to happen since he's gone. It's, it's really sad. Yeah. It it's really is a yeah. sad day, yeah. but you know, he has lived a really good life and, and he has left us, he has left a legacy and, and a lot music. of good music yeah. that South Africa will continue to listen and we will yeah. continue to celebrate his life. Thank you mm -hmm. so much for joining us and for sharing your fond memories of Usfiso. And from all of us here, it's also uh, sending our condolences from the SABC. Thank you. Thank you Thank very much. You. That was Debo Hosetatu. He is the president of the Musicians Association of South Africa and gospel artist Deborah Frazier joining us live for more on the life and times of Sfiso Ngwane.